the unified heavyweight champion at the age of 21. But interestingly, this obviously won't be a dramatic victory unless he does something dramatic here, but it has been a good workmanlike job. An effective victory. It was interesting to hear Kevin Rooney in the corner saying, with these judges, you never know. you got to go out there and win this round big. So Rooney just being a realist. I have to say something, bro. You know when I when the, Troy Tucker won the title against Buster Douglas, I felt that he needed more experience to deal with Mike Tyson. He wasn't strong enough. No had the experience to deal with Mike Tyson. I say, it's probably a blowout. But he said, so what with you so-called experts? I'm going to show you. And this is what he did tonight. And he has. Even if he loses the fight, he's probably made more friends than he has in the 34 wins that he's had. Friends and believers. Now, you have to take your head off to the guy. I mean, he's in there with a, a monster in Mike Tyson. Who has fought a good fight tonight? Yes, he has. I mean, Mike Tyson has done the best job he could, he could possibly do against a guy as mobile, hand speed, height, and reach advantage. And a guy who wasn't in there just to survive, either. Watch out, watch out! Tony Tucker, as Larry Murch is always fond of saying, he had the big hat, and while maybe he didn't have all the cattle, at least he had a couple of cows. A right hand just barely grazed the chin of Tony Tucker. Crowd getting a little tired of that. Tucker seems to be fighting the kind of fight that he thinks he's winning. Tucker talked the talk and walked the walk. He fought him. And he was a better fighter than most of us knew that he was. There's an old saying in boxing, you never know how good an unbeaten fighter is. And an unbeaten fighter is hard to beat because he doesn't know that he can be beat. And that's how Tucker fought tonight. Conversation going on between the two. This seems of a friendly nature. Tony Tucker, very religious man. And we await the decision. And, and we have seen some. And here's one. my card, which we will put up in a moment. I have Tyson winning clearly. In terms of rounds, it comes out 8-3-1. and one. The impressive thing to me is that Tyson was really rocked in the first round. He took the punch. He gathered himself. And after a few rounds of uncertainty, just went after it as a fight and let it happen. So if you had to capsulize the kind of fight, Larry, that Mike Tyson fought tonight, what would you say? If you had to capsulize, we had a problem with Larry's headset, I should say. If you had to capsulize the kind of fight that Mike Tyson fought tonight, what would you say? Well, workmanlike, a good solid job against the guy who was there uh, and didn't let him land a lot of big punches. I think uh, for a guy who fought him back, he fought him back in a way that didn't expose himself to a lot of big punches, which everybody else has gotten from Tyson. 
And Tyson is not a one-punch puncher. He's a cumulative puncher. All right, we'll get the official decision now as we go up to the ring announcer, Chuck Hall. Chuck. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the judges. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Phil Newman scores 119-111. Judge Julio Roldan scores 118-113. And Judge Bill Graham scores 116-112 for the winner by unanimous decision and undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So Mike Tyson, not surprisingly, the unanimous decision winner over Tony Tucker. Tony Tucker said when we talked to him the other day, he always referred to himself as the invisible champion. He'd say, I'd have a fight. A couple of days later, somebody he'd run into would say, are you still fighting? I don't think he's going to have to answer that question anymore. In a losing effort, as we said, he probably won more fans than he's had in the 34 fights previous. Right now, let's get up to Larry Merchant, who is with Mike Tyson. Larry? Okay, Mike. Undisputed heavyweight champion. Are you happy with the way you no, fought not tonight? not really, because I was trying my best to punch inside, but it just wasn't together today, and he was very intimidated. It was very tough. Was he a better fighter than you thought? It was very hard to tell because he did a great deal of holding. He did very fast punches. It was true. And he really rocked you in the first round. Yes, he did. He was a very hard puncher. How did you gather yourself together after that punch? What did that punch after, mean? After it hit me, I, it, it was history. It went away. Did you? Did it in, in, in any way intimidate you in the sense that give you respect for him, that no, he might hurt you? Not at all. Not at all. It seemed that after around several rounds that that you decided to step, stand down and not try to wing a lot of punches and just fight him and let happen what was going to happen Well, in the I was fight. thinking that he could, he was very intimidated and he was freezing every once in a while and I would think I would get him with a good right All hand. Right, we want to take a look at that punch in the first round and I'd like you to describe it and just what happened because... As you can see, I was, yeah, the bad mistake, like John Curry did, um, come right up in the middle after I went down instead of going to the side and then he threw a punch. And I was careless and got hit. It seemed that he had came out in the, into this fight with the strategy of trying to come underneath you as you came in. Well, after he did the first time, there was no way he was going to make this, give me the same mistake again. What are your plans now? Everybody wants to know, are you going to fight Michael Spinks? Well, I don't know, really. You have to talk to Jim Jacobs right here. He handles well, all Well, what are your thoughts about fighting Michael Spinks well, yourself, whether it's next time I or I two years from now? I fight whoever my manager wants me to fight. You know, I'm just a fighter. I do, I do what he told me to do. You're not as happy as one would think you would be for being the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Mike. Because, you know, as long as you make mistakes, I tell you, you have no means to be happy. I'm a perfectionist. I want to be perfect. And I was trying to use my jab more. And I was just a little confused that he was holding a lot, but I, was, I stopped being frustrated and I just continued jabbing most of the round. Let's take a look at what happened in the last round when he came out in some desperation and started to throw big punches again. Describe what you see. What was all this jiving and well, antics? He was he was a little intimidating. He would try to make me think that he was fresh and he was ready to go when he was not tired. I wasn't expecting him. But look, as soon as I come in, he grabs me. Mike, congratulations. Thank you, Larry. Undisputed champion, 21 years old. Do you feel now? that you're the undisputed champion, that that really is more meaningful than the other championships in terms of history. I knew I was the longest heavyweight champion when I beat Burger. Thank you very much. Okay, Mike, thank you.